Most people would be surprised to hear that Indians had slaves, but it's a fact. They've been citizens of the tribe since the 1860s. I consider myself to be a Cherokee, yeah. yes. and that's what I am, and, and that's, that's what I'll be till I die. Nobody can take that away from us. We was all bolted out and kicked out the same night. Her question was, what can we do? My response was, let's sue them. I honestly did not realize how powerful the Cherokee Nation's response was going to be. The Cherokee Nation has spent a fortune on this case. Indian gaming generates $30 billion a year in revenue. The black members of those tribes have been excluded from those benefits. It is time for us to stand up as black free, but enough is enough. When I started off, I thought this would be a slam dunk, and it wasn't like that at all. Let me say, uh, God, hey, welcome. We usually think of the tribes as the victims of injustice, which is true. But victims can do bad things too. If you voted against the freedmen because their skin is darker than yours, their hair is curlier than yours, then you're a racist. Tribal people should govern themselves. We don't need somebody from the outside telling you who should be in and who should be out. When you know what you really are and you haven't been embraced or acknowledged, it's horrible. We're not kicking them out because of their color. We're kicking them out because they don't have Cherokee blood, and that's the way it should be. 